Welcome guys to our VR show. This is going to be a series of videos here that we're going to be doing on the Oculus Rift and the PSVR. We're going to start with the Oculus Rift stuff. This is basically a show to show you guys what you guys are missing in virtual reality. And to show you guys some of the cool games that for those of you who already have it. To show you guys some of the games that you may not be missing, you may not know about. So it's going to be me basically playing these games for you guys. Showing you guys, you know, 15-25 minutes of gameplay depending on what the game is like. And then of course, showing you guys what I actually come back with and what I actually think of these titles and if I recommend them to you guys. I'm excited to do this show for you guys. This is going to be a pretty frequent series and this is going to be a lot of fun for me to record for you guys. It's also going to be hopefully something that you guys really enjoy. So let's go ahead and get this started. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. All right, guys, so here's the uh, main room of Rec Room. So we're going to go through a lot of the different game modes in here. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them. There's a lot of things to see in this game. So I wanted to give you guys an idea on how this game is and why and why I like the game so much. So this is the main area that you start in. This is like your dorm room, basically. If you go over here, this is me right here in the mirror. And if you pick all these things in the drawer, these are all the stuff that I've unlocked. Oops, uh, got a little too close. You pull out the drawer, you'll see that these two guns pop up here. You got the balls there. Pull out all the hats that you've unlocked. Then you can pull out all the different hands that, uh, things for your hands. All different dresses all around you. All the different shirts that you have. So right now I have this one on. I could pull up this one if I wanted to and put it on just like that. So that's what that is. Uh, obviously over here we have a basketball. You can pick this up put that in there and over here is actually kind of cool because it has all the all, all the information which this wasn't here all the time so you see the weekly challenges here it says complete a course of the crimson cauldron so that's one of the quests finish the disc golf under par which is actually really hard and capture the flag 10 times in paintball so that's the weekly challenges a day left and if you get it you get this cool little decal for a gun so that's uh what that is and here are featured rooms that people are are making basically so those are the featured rooms that they're that they're advertising now. Basically, now you can start making your own room in this game. So that's what that is there. And then over here, it's just a little corner. It tells you everything in the in the main campus of, of Rec Room. So it gives you like a little mini map. Um, you could obviously mess with some of the stuff that's in here. Throw some of those darts around. Water bottle gives you some some things you could do. So you could lock this draw something in here you can let that go and then you can actually grab what you're doing here and put it wherever you want um so you know some other stuff to mess with there's a ping pong racket over here so so let's go into the main rec center show you guys this is uh one of the main areas there are going to be people in there so obviously we're going to be talking to them that's the main area rec room here so we got some stuff right here as soon as we walk in we got some frisbees it was her idea it was her idea you can even uh, make a gif in game and record exactly what's happening in game and it will save directly to your computer all right, we got a little right, right basketball turn. hoop here. Right turn. Same thing with this in here. Left turn. Ooh, that's really? pretty good for someone who's throwing underhand because their ceiling's not tall enough. <laughs> that wasn't. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right, Con, where do you go? You ready? All right, one more. I just the show. <laughs> yeah. Let's all right. go and... uh, so there's just random stuff all over here. You got some, like I said, you got some I virtually piece. rode another girl. She was a, uh, over here is like the featured events when they have something featured like karaoke night or something. This would be the main room everyone enters. No, she's a reasonable human being. Hey, you want to see my tits? Hold on. Especially if it was a dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Invite. He'd really hey, eagle. Mm. So this is the main room of all the events. So, um... Soccer, paddle ball, dodgeball, disc, uh, disc golf, and 3D charades are the games that you can play. Paintball and laser tag are over there. I like And those four rooms are the actual quests in the game. 
that people are actually playing. So those are like main actual like full on games. Um, we even have, I forgot to show you guys the watch here. So basically we got a profile. This will show you my profile picture you can take. That's me. How many subscribers I have to any other rooms I make. I haven't made any rooms. Challenges gives you what's on the daily and the weekly. Like I was talking about before, it tells you what the reward is. Custom rooms, we'll go through this a little bit later, but this gives you all the rooms, like the ones on the board. You can scroll through and filter all the rooms that people are in by recently updated, who's visiting them and stuff like that, that people are actually making. These are the activities that are in this room. Just a quicker way to access them. And speaking of quests, these are the four that I told you that were in that corner. Uh, the Isle of the Lost Skulls is the newest one, which is Pirate Theme. Uh, we got this one here, Rise of the Jumbotron, and Quest for the Golden Trophy. So those are cool. They're really fully featured. We'll, we'll try the, the latest one so you guys can see what it's like and see how far we get. Uh, this is like your friends list and stuff and people who are nearby, so you can add them as friends. Any messages and stuff like that. Marisa, dude, this zombie mode is going to be like... Hey, hey, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. No, me too. Okay, we can go back now. Yay. <laughs> Look at this guy. Like, where are you going with the mystery machine? <laughs> where are you going with the mystery machine? As you can see, there's always a lot of nonsense going on in here. Like, that, like, that's huh? like my favorite Girl, name. Hi, Mary Jane, that's like my favorite name. <laughs> Go to a quick game of laser tag. I'll show you guys a little bit of a couple of minutes of each game. Game on! Laser tag. Tag players and bots to score points. You are on red team. There we go with some laser tag. We all know what the rules are for this. Didn't even see him. You can get revived by high fiving someone if you want. This is really cool. There's a lot of things to hide by. They have some AI people just to give you more things to shoot at. As you can see. I thought I could move quicker, but I can't. But that's basically the gist of this mode. And something cool, too. I don't know if we can get to it from here. Um, and all the doors are closed. Red team leads. Oh, that's a good 
Three here, we lost. Unfortunately. Five, four, three, two, one. Game over. So as you can see, you win tickets, you've won 25 daily Dude, bonus. Why did you quit us? I invited you and you quit. And you can come over here to the shop and use those tickets on stuff like this. And you can see the new items refresh all the time. Let's go back to the main room. We'll jump into... Um, Quick game of paddle ball. We'll show you guys around to that. That's like a one minute thing, but this game's also really fun. Yo, what's up? So. Ready to start. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's hope it's not laggy this time. Yeah, that was really weird. Game on. <laughs> All right. Goal. I should get. Don't I get a box? I believe, maybe. No. Oh, nice. I don't know why I didn't get a box. I thought you get one every time you level up, but maybe not. Yeah. How do I look? Nice. Ready to start. So that's basically a game of paddle ball. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find anyone in there, but we'll do a. Uh, a couple of minutes here of, of dodgeball so you guys can see what that's like. Ready to start. Hi now. What's up? What's up? Do you wanna play? Yep. Uh, we can go 1v1. Oops. Game on! Game on! Alright. Game of dodgeball here. Uh. Hit! Oh. Basically, just dodgeball. It's a 5v5, obviously. Uh, sorry, 3v3 when there's a full room in here. You can catch the ball on people, obviously. Hit! <laughs> <laughs> so it's obviously more crazy when there's more people involved, but... That's a gist of that's a gist of dodgeball. Yeah. Oh cool, daily okay. challenge complete. I forgot I had this as a daily challenge. 
So 10 tokens there to buy some stuff. 10 tokens there to buy some stuff. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks. Thanks. Ready to start. Ready to start. So that's also a quick gist of that. We'll do a, a quick gist of what soccer's like. Ready to start. Alright, so we got a 2v2 going. That's cool. Game on! <laughs> oh, I'll take that first goal. Blue team scores. Basically, that soccer works. You just kind of teleport around, try to hit that ball. Oh, I just missed that. Blue team scores. Blue team scores. It doesn't seem like, it looks like we lost one of the other people on the other team. And one, that guy's not even moving over there. Game over! And he just left. But that's kind of, just to give you an idea of what this game is like, especially when there's a full room, uh, a full room of people in there. There's always people in this main room. Hi. What's up? He just left. He actually just went to soccer. Um, so there's always people moving around and stuff. Um. Paintball's obviously. Um, I'm. That not go. Oh, okay. We get. I'm the, curious. Who, who are you talking to, my dude? So there's like a bunch of random things here. I would have told that guy what we were doing, but I left as soon Ready as Ready to said start. It. This is basically paintball. It's really similar to, uh, it has a similar feel to, obviously, laser tag. But, obviously, paintball instead. And it has different maps, obviously, as you can see. The map that we're in here. And it's obviously one hit kill here when you get splattered. That's it. It's your friend's leaderboard over there. Game on. I'm gonna show you guys a couple rounds of this and show you guys how this uh, how this gun works. So there's no reloading on this one or anything. You just go. I don't even know if she said this is capture the flag or just killing. I wasn't listening. You can see getting a group of friends in here how crazy this would actually be. So it is capsule the flag. So he got us and we got him. Yeah, unfortunately there's only one other person on the other side.
Red flag taken. Red flag dropped. Oh, what a bunch of bullshit. Red flag returned. So you guys got the idea. Uh, and then there's this here, you got a shield here. Now I can block myself from shots and stuff. So this is really cool, it's just that there's not a lot of people. Red flag taken. So that's the idea of what that's like. We're gonna end up cutting out of this because it's only a 1v2, so that's not that fun. But it, it, the, this is actually a good thing because it's giving you guys a quick idea of what these games are like instead of us having to play the full matches here. Um, and this is also stuff you could buy over here uh, with the tokens I keep getting with the dailies and then random loot boxes that you can get over here if you want to use your tokens on that. You can see that new exclusive items appear in six days and it tells you exactly how many coins you have. So I don't got much right now. <laughs> Now this golf, I'm going to just show you real quick, uh, like a round of just throwing it around, just to give you guys an idea of all these games that are in here and, and stuff. So there's already a game in progress, so we can kind of mimic what they're doing uh, and see what it's like. You see that you start back here, you throw the Look at that, bro. And then, you know, you come around here, obviously. You gotta throw it right in there. And it's a non-hole course. You saw there's two oh. courses in the game. Counts. You come around here, you do the next Counts. hole, you got hole three. And you come over here, you got hole four. You know, and you do the nine holes and, you know, try to get on their part, basically. Um, so there's two different courses on here, so this is pretty cool. So, uh, those three guys are already playing, so it's gonna take forever for us to play it. Uh, so we're not gonna sit here and wait. But it gives you guys an idea of what the course looks like and what the hole is. So you, a frisbee is you just throwing the frisbee and trying to get it into those things over there uh, and trying to get par. So this is fun. There's three people playing right now. Um, so that's what that is like. And that's basically all the activities except for the one main, the the main ones. So we're gonna go take a look at that now. So if you go to quest, we're gonna try this one hit. This is their newest one. We're not gonna make it very far. I know that for a fact because I've only played it once and it's very hard. Hey, what's up? Game on! Have you ever done this one before? No. These swords do eventually deteriorate, as you can see that one on the floor. Let's see what we got around here. You can see how in detail this stuff is. There's a 
chest underneath there. Can't really reach that. Oh, there we go. You can see how crazy this, this is, guys. And this is all of them right here. Here we go. If we could, have, if we would have stayed alive, we could have revived each other with our hands. One of us just got to be alive. So that's how this works. You, you know, it's more of that. It's like 25, 30 minutes long, so we obviously can't play a whole thing. So that gives you guys an idea of what this game is like. I and mean, if you look at one of the custom rooms that I was talking Ready about before. Ready to start. Let's get out of this room first. If you go to one of the custom rooms, this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. A lot of the people can create their own rooms here. And uh, it's really cool. There's a lot of people over here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Ooh, I'm, I, this is my nose. Since we don't have noses. Oh. It, yeah, you gotta make your own nose. Yeah, you gotta really. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh yes, I got a horn. I'm really. You like my horn? Oh, yeah, sweet horn. I'm good. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh yes, I'm gonna Mario Kart around now. Oh baby. Oh, this is. This is really disorienting. All right, time to get away from you over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere else. That's <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 less trappy over here. I'm not a trap. You're not a trap. You sure I sound like anything good? <gasps> My cart. All right. So while that was entertaining enough, uh, we can come here and go to my rooms, the ones that I'm following. So this one's really cool. So things like that can happen in this game because you know that's how the world works. But this is a really cool space here. So this is uh, one of the ones that people have created. Uh, there's a this, this starts off as a base, but then people do whatever they want. So this is a middle table here. You guys can see that, and you can sit around, talk, or whatever, do whatever you want to do, play cards. Over here, you got the dart board, which is cool. Over here, you actually got an actual card table. The four of you guys can sit here. You can grab those cards there, and it tells you there how to play, and uh, you can basically play cards. Sit around the four of you. We even got this thing is cool here. This guy did a really good job with this room. He comes up there like, "Hey, welcome to my room. Would you like anything to drink? You got a choice over here. Get some waters, cocktails, milkshakes, whatever you want. Just reach over here and grab it yourself." Yeah, see, that, that's really cool how he did that. Uh, that's all custom made by somebody. And this would be playing music, and this is what this is. But th there has to be somebody in here. You can see it. It says like music how. And this pops so up. you're curious as to how the music played. It's actually another character with another headset using Amazon Music and an application called Voice Meter. It's streaming the music from the application straight out his microphone. Look up there yourself. So like that's how it would work. You can see the speakers up there, but there has to be somebody in here for that to work. Obviously, uh, just like you mentioned it. Uh, and then this room here is actually ping, uh, beer pong, ping pong, whatever. Uh, what Beer pong, if you want to call it that, come over here. Come on, we need to make one. That was terrible. That was way too hard. There we go. You can see that they keep respawning, so you don't even need to go get them. So you can see rooms like this are, are oh, that was cool, are really crazy. There's a lot of different rooms here. Um, a lot of different rooms to check out. Uh, you know, a lot of people are making crazy custom things. You can see here, this is the featured room because uh, we'll go to this one as the last one we're going to go to. This is like a, like a hub world of all the featured rooms that, you know, Rec Room is featuring for, for this time. So you can see here they got like these, Rick and, they got a Rick and Morty level. We'll do that one. And all the featured rooms that you can keep going to. So if you walk in through these doors, 
Now you're gonna go straight into someone's level that they created, which is whatever rec room uh, this is. Uh, and you see here, that's cool. See Rick and Morty characters here. And a lot of these levels are work in progress because that's what they they usually do. But this is cool. You got Rick, you got Morty right here. Uh, sorry, Rick. And uh, Morty's chilling over here. So you, and you see that up there. Show me what you got. Uh, I'm not sure if this level wants us to hit something. No, it's just for for ten because I wasn't sure if they were actually trying to reference something. So you can see there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, and. Um, there's a lot of cool things to see. There, th this game has infinite replayability. It's completely free, which is even crazy. But we'll get into that here in, in our final thoughts. Um, so let's get into that now and tell you guys what I think about this game and if you guys should play it. All right, guys. So that was basically me showing you guys exactly what Rec Room is about. And I hope it, it shows you guys everything that Rec Room has to offer. And something to mention right away, in case some of you guys aren't aware, is this th game is absolutely free. There's nothing to lose at all. And what's even better is this game is cross-platform. So it's Vive users, Oculus users, and PSVR users that can all be friends and go in there and talk to each other and invite each other into groups and, and you know, do all the things that I showed you guys across platform, which is awesome. Obviously, you know, the Oculus Rift and the on the PC is graphically a little bit better than the PSVR version, and the controllers are a little bit better because they're a little bit more accurate than PSVR, but they still function, the game still function basically the same, um, you know, based on, on what you're trying to play. So that game is great on all the platforms. And uh, like I said, I can't believe it's free. And there's not even anything to that I know of that you can actually buy, even though you see a lot of the things that I showed you guys, like the coins and stuff. But there's no way to actually buy them as far as I know about. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this game. It's free. There's nothing for you guys to lose, but it's also a lot of fun. It's the game that I probably turn on at least... Every, every time I put in VR, I at least finish with that game or start with that game because I want to see what's new and what's going on. Because it's all, not only is it free, but they're also adding to it all the time. Like, they release updates every couple of weeks at least with something new and something that they're, they've changed or added. Like, that quest that, just, that I was playing in there probably came out like a couple of weeks ago. And they're always adding new stuff in there. And they actually have their whole entire plans uh, on Reddit for everyone to see on what they're working on now, what's coming later, and what's further along in the future. So they're really open with the community too. So um, that's always good. And I don't know if there's anything else to say. I mean, I showed you guys everything that's in there. There's a lot of st cool stuff to play in that you know in that vr thing so all, I, all you guys need to know is that this is a great game it's free go play it everyone who has a system and it works on all of them so definitely don't miss it and i think you guys will have a lot of fun with it and there's a lot of stuff to do and i think you guys will be in there for hours just like i have and i hope you guys enjoyed this first uh vr show that we have here you guys can look forward to the next one like i said this one uh went a little longer and it's it was more of like an overview uh, of what this game had because there's so many moving parts you know obviously future games if I'm doing you know story based game or more single player you'll just see me straight up playing the game and, and going through the game and showing you guys what this like but I really wanted to capture every little piece that this game had to offer so it's a little bit different than what the rest of them were going to be like but you guys get the idea I hope you guys enjoyed it I can't wait to show you guys the next VR game there's so many cool games to show you guys you guys don't want to miss make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the video please like it and I thank you guys for watching Gaming Tech Gaming Tech is the Gaming Tech Gaming Tech Gaming Tech Eating brekkie is the gaming tech Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech Gaming tech is the gaming tech Gaming techie